फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन ये सर्क्यूट एज ए इंडक्टेंस ऑफ टू एंट्री इफ द सर्क्यूट करेंट चेंजेस एट द रेट ऑफ टेन सेकेंड्स पर टेन एम्स पर सेकेंड देन सेल्फ इंड्यूस्ड ई एम एफ दे आर गिवन एल इज इक्व टू टू एंट्री एंड दे आर गिवन डी आई बाई डी टी देर इज चेंज इन करेंट फॉर एट सेकेंड्स इट इज गिवन एज टेन एम्स so emf uh, induced self induced emf is given by emf equals to l into di by dt where l is equals to 2 henry into i is 10 amps so answer is 20 volts formula is l into di by dt Next question. A current of two amps through a coil will set up a flux linkage of four Weber turns. Four Weber turn. The induced uh, the inductance of the coil. Here they are given I is equals to two amps, which will flow through a coil. It set up and it will set up a flux of four Weber in a turn. The inductance of the coil is given by. The formula for inductance is given by. Uh, n into phi by i. Here they are given flux and number of turns is one and uh, current is given. So we are using this formula. So number of turns is one into phi is four divided by current. Current is two amps. So answer is two one zero two two zero. Answer is two entry. Formula is L. Is equals to n into phi by i. Next question. If a ten ton coil has a second layer of ten tons wounded over a first, then the total inductance will be about dash the original L. Uh, we have seen in the transformer that uh, they are wounding the coil over the another coil. Uh, coil or the another coil they have said that this coil has a 10 tons and this coil has a 10 tons the what will be the inductance uh, what will be the inductance after uh, placing the second uh, layer over the first layer so we know the formula that uh, in case of solenoid l will be given by n square by reluctance so if the number of turns increases then the inductance will also will be inductance will be increased by Four times means it double times. If it is here, we are using the two coils, so it will be of four times. Next, an iron core coil of ten tons has a reluctance of ten ampere tons per Weber. The inductance of the coil is an iron core coil has a ton ten tons. N is equals to ten, and has a reluctance R is equals to hundred ampere tons per Weber. Hundred ampere tons per Weber. So, from the previous formula, L is equal to n square. L is equal to n square by s. Uh, what is the inductance of the coil? So, L is equal to n square is hundred square. Ten square is hundred divided by uh, reluctance is hundred. So, hundred by hundred will give you one Henry. So, answer is one Henry. An iron cord coil has a inductance of two entry. An iron cord coil has a inductance of two entry, and the, if the reluctance of the magnetic path is 200 ampere tons per Weber, so S is 200 ampere tons per Weber. The number of uh, turns in the coil, same formula, L is equals to n square n square by S. So 2 into cross multiply L and S, 2 into 200 is 400. So n is equals to square root of 400 is 20. So answer is 20. Next question: Mutually indi mutual inductance between the two coils is 4 n. Mutual inductance is indicated by m. So it is 4 n. If the current in one coil will change at the rate of 2 amps per second, so I is equals to d i by d phi and d i by d t is equals to 2 amps. Then EMF induced in the coil is given by. Mm. Here they are given M is equal to four Henry, 
and dy by dt is equals to 2 amps so another formula for inductance is given by m into di by dt so m is equals to 4 into i which is 2 8 volts sorry sorry, sorry. In emf induced is given by e e is equals to m into di by dt di by dt 4 into 2 is equals to 8 volts answer is a 8 volts in a figure 512 is equals to 2 2 webbers uh, 2 webbers 5 is equals to 2 webbers and n2 is equals to 20 and i is i1 is equals to 20 then mutual inductance between the coil is given by uh, they are given n is equals to n2 is equals to 20 and i1 is equals to 20 amps 5 is equals to 2 webbers so answer is m is equals to uh, n uh, phi is equals to um, i phi m is equals to phi into n by i mutual inductance formula phi is equals to 2 into 20 is 20 divided by i is equals to 20 so answer is 2 entry 20 2 into 20 is 40 by 2 is equals to 2 entry so answer is 2 entry the mutual inductance of a uh, mutual inductance between the unity coupled coil of 9 entry and 4 entry is unity coupled coupled means this uh, coupled will be indicated by k so the mutual inductance m is equals to k into root of l1 into l2 so l1 l2 is given 9 4 36 and k is unity they have said unity coupled so 1 and l1 is equals 9 into 4 root is 36 m is equals to 6 square root of 36 is 6 6 entry answer is 6 entry in a in a transformer coil a as a point 0.1 uh, point 0.1 flux and the coil b as a 0.085 flux the coefficients of coupling between the coils is given by as I said uh, coefficients uh, of coupling coupling is given by k uh, k is equals to 52 by 51 so 52 by 51 52 is equals to 0 0.08 divided by 0 0.1 so answer is 0 0.8 next another question in this question is the coefficients of coupling in uh, in practical iron core transformer is in case of iron core transformer is 0 0.9 this has to be remembered in a figure inductance of a coil l1 will become dash in, in a figure they have shown that two inductance which are wounded in same direction the, uh, this dot will indicates that if they are both are on one side then uh, the coils are wounded in same direction if they are in opposite side this coil is wounded in clockwise then this coil is wounded in anti-clockwise direction so they will cancel the each other the flux will cancel each other so in this case flux will added so in the uh, in the figure they have given mutual inductance 3 and uh, l1 and l2 9 henry so so in a figure the inductance of a coil l1 will become we know that formula lt will be given by in case of mutual inductance l1 plus l2 into plus or minus 2m m is mutual inductance so l1 will be 9 9 henry and l2 is 4 entry plus or minus 2 2 into m m is 3 entry if you if you arrange in formula or else we can do it directly from taking first we have to find the total inductance and then we have we can find the inductance of l1 okay or else we can directly find we can directly add that uh, 3 entry to na uh, 9 entry so because mutual inductance will be shared between the two coils so 3 plus 9 3 plus 9 will gives you 12 entry in uh, this plus sign is used for a uh, same direction and if a minus sign is for if in case of a coil is wounded in opposite direction the coefficients of coupling Mm, the coefficients of coupling means k for above figure only same question for above figure uh, we can find uh, k here they, they have k is equals to 52 by 51 but they are not given 52 by 51 so another formula is uh, 
we know that m is equals to k into root of l1 into l2 so to find a m is equal m is given as 3 divided by l root of l1 is 9 into 4 so 3 divided by 9 root of 9, 9 36 is 6 3 ones are 3 twos are. so 0.5 is answer in a figure the rate of change of current at the instant of closing in the switch is the rate of change of current at the instant of closing the switch is given by v by l rate of change of instant of closing switch is given by v by l v is equals to 75 volts and where l is equals to 5 5 ones are 5 15 za. so answer is a is equals to 15 amps per second another question is uh, in case of a dc circuit the current uh, uh, current will uh, current will be constant but at starting it will it has to be rise from 0 to from uh, 0 to maximum value so between this the current is changed so the inductance will be acted in this in case after reaching to the maximum value that is constant value inductance will be uh, not considered mm. so uh, after closing this switch uh, how much time it will take to reach at a maximum value or a constant value is given by the formula phi t phi t is equals to oh, phi tau this is tau is equals to t tau is equals to r by l so r is equals to 10 ohms divided by l is phi and t so phi ones are phi twos are so two two tau so phi into wait, wait r is equals to 10 l is equals sorry l by r formula is l by r l by tau is equals to l by r l is equals to 5 5 by r is equals to 10 so 5 ones are 5 twos are this will gives you 0.5 is a tau so t is equals to 5 times of tau 0.5 is called this will give you 2.5 seconds it will takes 2.5 seconds to reach the maximum value or a constant value next question 8 entry chowk is carrying a current of 500 milliamps the energy stored in the magnetic field the energy stored in the magnet energy store energy stored is given by 1 by 2 l i square where 1 by 2 L is given as 8 Henry in high is equals to 500 milliamps that is 0.5 square so answer is 2 1s are 2 4s are. so 4 into 0 0.25 will give you 1 so answer is 1 joules next question in a figure shown two tightly coupled K is equals to 1 identical coils we have seen that coefficient as k is equal to 1 so if the co coil is connected in series adding then the total inductance is if they said uh, total inductance so we have to find the as the co coils are coupled through a magnet field we have to find the mutual inductance mutual inductance uh, mutual, indu uh, mutual inductance we have to find uh, so first uh, lt will be equals to l1 plus l2 this so they are adding plus sign plus 2 into m m is equals to k into root of l1 into l2 k is given as 1 so l1 is equals to 250 into 250 so 250 into 250 is square root of 250 will be 250 so 250 million ray m is equals to 250 million re. so l1 l1 is 250 mA l2 is 250 mA plus 2 into 250 mA so 250 mA plus 250 mA is 500 mA plus 500 mA so, total will give you 1 Henry so answer is 1 Henry two uncoupled 3 Henry inductors are connected in parallel the total inductances in case of parallels the inductances are similar to the resistance so parallel will be given by l1 into l2 divided by l1 plus l2 uh, in case of series